What's up team, major announcement. I now have a Nicopee lab. So I'm renting this house here in Los Angeles and I have the full garage to make my entire Nicopedia lab. It's going to be awesome. But today, we're gonna to be doing an experiment that we've never done before. Uh, we've worked a lot with the Sulfur Explorer, the deep voice gas. We've inhaled it. <laughs> we've put out fire with it, but there's one thing we haven't done yet. So, let's get tested. All right, so here's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, as you know, sulfur flora, the deep voice gas, uh, is five times more dense than air. So in theory, um, if, you, if we could fill this container with that gas, we should be able to float things that wouldn't normally float on air. And so what we're going to be attempting to do today is make a little boat, almost like a barge, um, out of aluminum foil and float this, uh, this boat barge on this clear sulfur hexafluoride. Now, I've seen this done before, but I've never done it myself. I've never seen it with my own eyes. So what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, take the sulfur hexafluoride and attach it to this little tube right here. And then I'm just gonna turn it on and kind of let it drain into here. I'm gonna use this balloon as a bob um, to kind of let us know where the level is of the sulfur hexafluoride. Um, and then we're going to make this barge out of aluminum foil. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Now I went ahead and just built my little boat. This is my, my first iteration uh, of my barge. Um, hopefully this one will work uh, right off the bat, for first try, but as you guys know, nothing ever works first try. All right, I don't think this, this first iteration is gonna work so hot. Let's see if we can get this guy. Uh-oh. I'm gonna do some weight uh, reduction over here. I'm gonna cut the corners, hopefully. <laughs> I don't think this is the best thing I've ever made, but let's give it a shot. I wonder what the trick here is. I definitely feel like we're on to something, but let's try this. I feel like if we put more gas in there, I don't know. Let's, let's just go ahead and put a little more gas in there. That is like a ton of sulfur explorer. So, as you can see, we're like filled to the top here. It was so close. Did you see that? It was like hanging out there for a second. We were super close on that one. Let me give us another shot. So close. All right, I feel like we're definitely onto something here. All right, let's see if the big boy will do it. Oh, it's so close! It's so close. Let me try this one more time. We were so close on that last one. Filling up my tank, bruh. The sulfur explorer will diffuse a little bit with the air itself. I think what's happening is it's like as you spend time uh, hanging out, the sulfur explorer is somewhat dissolving into the air. And so if we can get really fresh sulfur hexafluoride down in here as much as we possibly can, I think this will make it easier for it to float. It. Did you guys see it? It chilled. It definitely was there for a minute. It was definitely there for a second. It just hung out. It was there and then it slowly went down. But we got it. We got it. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up again with sulfur explorin, which seems to be making all the difference in the world. That's it. Gone. That was the whole bottle. Okay, this is our last iteration. Oof. So close. Right, I think the thing that we've learned the most here though is that the bigger the surface area, the easier it is gonna float. I think what this tells me is that in order for this ex experiment really to work, you really just need 
lot of sulfur hexafluoride. So that's where the level is right there. So go ahead and try with this guy one more time. Just sinking on the boats. Sinking on the boats. Now that we don't have anything left. Check one, check two. Well, I think we got the experiment to work at least a little bit. So we definitely got this uh, aluminum barge to work. Uh, the thing that we learned is that we need the aluminum barge to be as big as possible as far as displacing as much sulfur hexafluoride as possible to get the biggest surface area to get the highest buoyancy. Um, if we had more sulfur hexafluoride in a bigger container, I think, maybe a wider one, I think we would have been able to get all three to work. So there we go. We actually got our aluminum foil barge to float on sulfur hexafluoride. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know. Were you guys super stoked? Was your mind blown that we could actually get metal to float on a gas? Also, a big announcement, I started a Patreon page. Um, if you guys want to check it out, there's a link right down here in the description below. Um, with more funding, we can just do bigger and better things from Nickipedia. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.